Hello and welcome back to Sharing Stories with Sharon and welcome to my picnic. As you can see, I've invited a few guests. You're welcome. You're welcome. Well, today's story is all about a picnic, you might have guessed. And it's a book called Polly's Picnic and it's by Richard Hamilton. Now it's a children's book, but it's a lovely story, so I thought you might like it. What was that? What was that pink bunny? Shut up and get on with the story. <gasps> Rude for a guest. Right then. If we're sitting comfortably, <coughs> then we'll begin. Polly's Picnic. When the sun shone brightly in the clear blue sky and the summer birds darted through the air, Polly went for a picnic down by the river. She lay in the sun, popped open some crisps and lazily started to dream. Then, quack, quack, attack! Some ducks stole her snack and gobbled it up in midstream. Polly opened up her sandwich box and found beside her Mr Fox. Oh, go on, she said, have one. He did, and two, and three, and four. He ate until there were no more. She poured some milk into a cup and in a flash two cats purred up. Polly wasn't pleased but she could see that they were hungrier than she. Have a sip, said Polly. It's awfully hot. But those greedy cats ate every drop. Hey, cried Polly. I'm thirsty too. I didn't bring that milk for you. Then in her basket she found a pear and suddenly a horse was there. Have a bite, said Polly. One bite, no more. But he ate it all, even the core. <gasps> Polly gasped. Polly growled. Oh, Polly, Polly very nearly howled. Can I have some? said a goat emerging from the undergrowth. Polly snapped. The basket's empty. The goat replied. Mmm, that looks like plenty. He opened his mouth. He licked his lips. He chewed the basket into bits. When the sun shone brightly in the clear blue sky and the summer birds darted through the air, Polly cried, It's just not fair! I gave you my food and drink for free and now there's nothing left for me! No one said thank you, no one said please, you ruined my picnic under the trees! A swan gliding past heard her complain and said to the ducks, you should be ashamed. Polly's upset because of your greed. You must put this right with all possible speed. So the ducks asked the fox and the fox asked the cats. The cats asked the horse and the horse asked the goat. Who's been greedy? Who's been rude? Who has stolen Polly's food? Jumping on the horse's back, they galloped smartly up the track. There's Polly's house, the two cats cried. They found the door and burst inside. Then they measured, mixed and baked biscuits, sandwiches, sausages, cakes. Back to the river they carried the food on heads and tails, in paws and hooves. And there they found Polly looking sad. We're sorry, they said. We've been terribly bad. Together, they had a picnic tea and everybody shared with everybody. Friends, said Polly, I am no longer sad. That's the best picnic tea I've ever had. Thank you. The end. Ha, well, I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> right, well, that's all from me. Goodbye. <laughs>